What's going on everybody and welcome back to another Quinn Builds video. What? Did you copy my outfit? Did, no. Look you, at this. We're wearing the same thing. You, I'm going to go change. Clearly, this is ridiculous. Clearly she copied my this outfit. This is an outrage. Well, welcome back. Thanks. Much okay. better. So, what, what video are we doing today? We are comparing the two ghosts. Phantoms? Ghosts. So you got yours from 2000 that year, right there. Um, and then we've got mine from 2023. Yeah, so I got to build the old one. I got lucky. He let me build the cooler one, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I got to build the bigger one. That's that true. Definitely bigger. Mine is definitely a little bit smaller. Um, a few less pieces, I think. I think it's about three or four hundred pieces less. Yeah, it took us about the same amount of time anyways because I'm a slower builder. Mine was the older one. It was kind of hard to open the box and pour out the pieces because it was such an old sealed box. So that was a little nerve wracking, but glad we did it. The build yeah. was worth it. Yeah, absolutely. So I think one of like the main things that we can kind of get out of the way early here is mine came with the Phantom. Yeah. Um, nice little attachable piece right there. Yours has the option. There was the two-in-one set. There was also the standalone set that you could do. Um, so it did have the option, but it but didn't come with it. But it was a whole separate purchase that you had to make. I don't even know if they were out at the same time. Well, and now, and now it's even worse because it's like 10 times more expensive to, to get that one on there. As you can see, we don't even have it because yeah. it's ridiculous. I think we have it in our storage unit, but again, opening that box of like such an old thing it just makes me nervous yeah. i'm gonna put this aside for now because you know it's it's totally different from the build let's talk about the caboose first i will say i like your caboose better really i feel like i feel like yours is a lot more detailed and the colors are a little bit more exciting there's also this really interesting texture here that mine doesn't have i actually like yours better okay so i like my propulsion system better but the landing pad for the phantom Hands down, way cooler on yours. Yeah, that's true. Mine looks like a real place where a ship could land. Yeah. Yours kind of looks like... If it's not on there, it's yeah. not good looking. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of like, you know, we, we lost we lost out on that for sure. But yeah. I also really enjoyed the way that these propellers came together. Um, mm. There were some interesting parts usage. They used lightsaber blades in the propellers. Mine just has droid arms. Is that a hot dog piece? Uh, yes, there is a hot dog piece somewhere. Down. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. It, is it cool, though? Is it? I like it. Is it cool? Is that the right word to use yeah. for a randomly placed hot dog piece? Hot dogs are always cool. Come on. Every time there's a hot dog piece in a Lego set, I'm like, yes. Yeah. I think the colors on mine are better, yeah. even though they do have the same colors. I don't know. I feel like this this part, these stripes here, yeah. and I get more green than you have. Okay, so you do get more green, but I like this sand blue that I have. I do like that, but I do like your color scheme better for some reason. It's the same, but it's different, I don't and know. I, I think like it's it. maybe because it's the original. Like, we love the original. We always had it as, like, a white whale set, and when we right. finally got it, it was so exciting Yay! so and, and this one we had like no anticipation for right well and you also have to remember that they are from two different eras yes so the ship can change over time that is true um it doesn't necessarily get bigger but the the outside definitely looks a little different your stickers are definitely better i was gonna say that yours were because you have all these cool stickers all on the top of the ship i i, I hate these stickers that they've been using on on these star wars sets to like Give me a panel or a little vent on the side of the ship. Like, I don't need it. It's not necessary. Like, yours isn't missing something without it. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, I did like that this sticker is definitely better than the one that you have. Well, and mine's printed. This is a printed part. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. No, yours looks like a sticker. Interesting. Because I, I can see bubbles in it. You guys, I'm sure you, this is printed. This one, the front. The, yeah, mine the bulb, was too. The bulb is printed there. So let's talk about the bulb. Because yours opens up as well, right? Yes. Does yours have a clicky open? Yes. Okay, mine also has the clicky open. I have like a little gear thing going in the front. Yours does not. Something I'm noticing right now, you have all this detailing along the side of your ship that makes it look very like tech and mm. very Star Wars-y. 
mine kind of has these simple panels with nothing in between, like nothing yeah. showing on the outside. So, Which, so yours, it actually is like the regular Star Wars thing that we see often where they just have one flap kind of just hang down a little bit and cover it. Something I really enjoyed about mine was the details on the inside. Um, specifically, there was a holocron in the inside which I thought was really neat. There was also a part that slides in and out for playability, so you can put your minifigures in this part, slide it into the ship, slide it out of the ship to get the minifigures out. That was a neat detail that I did not realize until I built it. But if you want to talk about playability, this thing, you're gonna have a whole tea party in here. Yeah, it is It is a large cockpit. The thing that we can't forget, which is the fact that the minifigures are I know. so but, much better. Uh, okay, that's not fair because it's just not fair. It's, it's not fair. It's not fair in my favor. Like, yeah, it, I know. Many figures in this set are so much better. Yeah. I think everybody could agree. Like there is another part of yours that is significantly cooler than mine as well, and it's these little side these drums. Side propellers. Yeah. Those are like, are, were these printed? I want to say yes, but no, they're stickers. Okay, because, yeah. I mean, they're still sick compared to mine. Mine are, like, literally just these little gray blobs on the side. Yeah. Like, no color, no fun. It looks like a little bit more creativity went into designing mine, um, which is interesting because you would think that they would put more creativity into the newer one. Yeah, that's the one thing. Mine is much more delicate than yours. Yeah, this one, like, I can literally, I can really hold this. This one I have to be really, really careful moving it around because it's so old. The bricks are old. Um, yeah. Everything about it is different. Okay, so we got Zeb's gun in there. There's a lightsaber and a blaster in here. My, mine doesn't have that same thing, but I, I, I have an interior. Yeah, okay. that's definitely way cooler. I have an interior. Like, let's say, okay, because we have to acknowledge the fact that this one did come out almost 10 years ago. Yeah. And this one is brand new. This one's bigger. This one's not as big. So there, there you know, there are some clear differences, but imagine if today they both released, which one would you pick up? I feel like I'm partial because of the minifigures in this one. Mm -hmm. But if it was just the build alone that we are comparing, probably yours. Okay. Because the build in this one, the techniques are 10 years old. Um, everything about it is 10 years old. Yeah. I would rather build something that was planned for 2023. Mm. Okay. Okay. I see that. And again, I must agree, yes, your figures are better. But if they came out today, both of them, with no like preconceived notions about how cool or expensive Zeb is or Kanan, yeah. I think I would probably pick yours. Just based off of the build alone. Which one would you guys pick? Let us know in the uh, in the comments down below. Did you have the holocron in yours? No, I did not have a holocron. No, because I, I don't think... I you did. No, I didn't, because I, I don't it's think it's... It's not part of the storyline. I don't think it's part of the storyline. Yeah. All right, we've been mentioning the minifigures a lot, and let's be honest, the minifigures that came with this one, eh, not great. The Hera Syndulla is super, super cool, and it, it does have some really unique printing and everything, and it, it is a cool fig, but it's the best one in the whole set. And we got a new Mon Calamari. I don't know. I can't remember oh, his the name. Blue, the, blue the blue guy. guy. Yeah. yeah. So he was cool. But like, again, we've had several Mon Calamaris. Nothing yeah. crazy. But the figures just fell short on this one. And we'll have to wait 10 years and see how yeah. people feel about them then. <laughs> yeah. Because who knows how people felt about Zeb, Kanan, and yeah. Hera when they first came out. So. I, I think the reason that people are still excited about them is because they were originally excited about them. Yeah, that's fair. So it's it just... Especially now, the way that many figures are, I feel like they don't hold value as well. Not that we look at this from a perspective of value, but it is cool to say like, oh, yeah. this Zeb is like over $100. Like, yeah. It, it does kind of make the excitement a little bit greater. Yeah, and yours did have a, a variant as well which is even cooler, oh, adds yeah. to the allure of the set, which is pretty that cool. That is true. I had brown hair Kanan in this one in particular. Yeah. What was the other figure that it came with? Was it a clone? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was a stormtrooper. It was not a clone. Kind of boring, but like I guess it doesn't really matter because you got three awesome figs besides that, so. That's true. He kind of got overshadowed. All right, yeah, I, I got three. I got Chopper, though. Chopper! I got yeah. Chopper, though, and let's, I mean... That's fair, that's fair. Come chopper on. is very cool. Yes, so uh, Which Chopper do you guys like better? Because I like the old one. I like the new one. I don't know. I like the new one. Let us know. The new one's cool. So overall, I'm just really glad that we have both of these, because yeah. it's really cool to like compare and see the differences, um, especially 
when your fiance built the other one, you can kind of like. Yeah, it's kind of fun to like battle it out yeah. and say like, hey, you know, mine, mine's way, way, way better. But clearly, mine's better. Yeah, yours is better. I, t if we're if we're taking votes, I vote for this one. Um, yeah, I like yours better. But it it was also nice that we did get almost a completely different set in a in a repeat set. So yeah, most of the X wings are like X wings. They're all somewhat around the same thing. Like this felt like a completely different set, which was nice. That's fair. Um, so Lego did do a good job, and I feel like they waited an, an apt amount of time yeah. to re-release. Like, it wasn't, oh, this year we had an X-Wing, we should do another one, right? Yeah. Like, oh, Luke's land speeder. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, we, we haven't done one of those. So it was nice to get a, a, a nice wait in between. So let us know which one you have, which one you want. Which one you thought was better. Yes. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the bell so that you know when our next video is posted. And as always, a big old toot de les s'more from us and good night.